Dynamic Island is a unique feature that was introduced with the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. It was later extended to all iPhone 15 and 16 models. It transforms the pill-shaped cutout at the top of the screen into an interactive hub for notifications, alerts, and live activities. When this area is inactive, it's just a black pill shape. The hardware within this area includes the front-facing camera, and sensors for Face ID. So let's look at a few examples as to how we can work with Dynamic Island. First, incoming calls will expand from Dynamic Island. If I choose to not accept the call, I can see that the call has been sent to voicemail here in Dynamic Island. If we have an app playing audio on the iPhone, that will be displayed in Dynamic Island too. In this case, I'll play a podcast. That you were when I close the podcast app, the audio continues to play, and that is displayed up in Dynamic Island. There are two ways to interact with what's playing from Dynamic Island. Tap and hold here to expand the audio controls. Now we can pause the podcast, skip back or ahead, even tap and drag on the playhead. Or we can change the audio output. All of this can be done without opening the podcast app. Single tap on the Dynamic Island while the podcast is playing and the podcast app will open. So it's tap and hold for quick controls, single tap on Dynamic Island to jump into the corresponding app. I'm going to pause the podcast now and move into the clock app where I'll set a timer. Close the app and the timer appears in Dynamic Island. Tap and hold to view it in detail. We can also pause or end the timer from here. Single tap to head back into the timer section of the clock app. If I start a podcast while the timer is running, both are displayed in Dynamic Island. The podcast gets the pill shape and the timer is reduced to a smaller circle. Both still work with the tap and hold or single tap command. Dynamic Island can be a great way to follow a sporting event using the Apple Sports app. This is a free app that can be downloaded from the App Store. When we pull up a game that's currently underway, we can make it a live activity with a tap on this icon in the upper right corner. Now when the Sports app is closed, the score appears in Dynamic Island. Tap and hold to pop open more details, including the period and a running clock. Many of these will also include play-by-play -play text below. A key aspect of Dynamic Island is that it's going to be displayed no matter what app is open. So I can jump to any other app and the score displayed in Dynamic Island remains the same. To remove this score from Dynamic Island, we can turn off the Live Activity option for that game in the Sports app. When we're getting guidance to a destination in Maps, Dynamic Island will show the next turn. If you're moving, this will expand automatically as that next turn approaches. Of course, we can also tap and hold to manually display this next turn or single tap to jump into maps. Dynamic Island will alert you when your iPhone has been attached to power and begins to charge. It will let us know when AirPods have been connected and much more. In the next lesson we'll look more at live activities.